In 1914, Charlie Chaplin continued to direct every film in which he appeared for Keystone, making approximately one a week. In November of that year, Chaplin had a small role in his first feature-length comedy, Tilly's Punctured Romance, further increasing his popularity. I mean, I think Tilly's Punctured Romance was a, a huge commercial success. The audiences really started to love Chaplin after this. The great thing for the studios was that every time they came out with another film starring Charlie Chaplin, it was a big hit. It made money for them. And there's nothing that studios like better than um, films that make money, especially if they don't cost very much. Chaplin's contract came up for renewal, and he asked for $1,000 a week, which Senate refused. So Chaplin signed with SNA Films. He knew he could get more money. Max Senate said, no, too much and I'm sure had many sleepless nights for decades to come for letting Chaplin go after that. He jumped ship from Keystone to SNA Studios, who offered him $12.50 a week, plus a signing fee of $10,000, which was an extraordinary amount of money. At SNA, Chaplin asserted a high level of control over his pictures, taking up to a month to release each new project and bringing a new, slower pace to the comedy.